Hey everybody, this is Eric Worre and welcome to NetworkMarketingPro.com. I'm here in Siesta Key, Florida with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jeff Roberti. Um, I'm going to let him talk in a moment, but I will tell you, he's earned over $70 million in commissions um, in the network marketing profession, more than anybody I've ever known personally. And uh, he and I go way back, actually. Uh, we I was involved with the company that he's still involved with. I was involved way back in the 1980s, my very first experience. I moved on from there. He continued on. Uh, and and uh, obviously had huge success. Well, we're at his home, one of his homes um, here in Florida. And Jeff, thank you for being on and giving a little bit of your time. Thank you, Eric. Thanks for having me. Um, <laughs> t tell everybody your story because I, I I continue to find it inspiring as a person. You know, kind of come from your background and and uh, how you got started in the network marketing profession. Um, well, I guess. My story is, um, if I was going to share the, the, the story and how I got started, uh, I did not come from a wealthy family. I'm the oldest of three boys. Uh, my father had died at a, an early age, at the age of 46. And um, I was always a hard worker, you know, always had a really good work ethic. Even growing up, you know, even 14 years old, I had a lawn business in the neighborhood, mowing lawns in the mm -hmm. summer, and you know, I worked construction, and worked in the grocery store, and worked as a waiter, and cleaning pools, and just, and I was, was always the best at whatever I did. So when I got introduced to network marketing, or having your own business, or a home-based business, uh, I brought that work ethic with me. But, you know, I didn't have a higher education, uh, I didn't have a lot of money, I didn't have a lot of experience, a lot of background in this type of business, but what I was lacking in those areas, I made up in a, in a willingness to work, you know, a burning desire, a willingness to work and being really teachable, you know, finding somebody that's hungry, that's dissatisfied. And I talk about, you know, people get started in this business sometimes out of inspiration or desperation. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was out of desperation. Uh, I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. On my uh, sick and tired of being behind on my bills in life, my promises in life to myself, to my friends, to my family, and uh, I was looking for some things to change in my life, and was very dissatisfied. So when I got introduced to uh, the opportunity, to the I became a customer first, which you know really yeah. in this business the first step is to become a satisfied customer, a raving fan customer, where you have that passion and that belief in your product or service. And then I found out there was an opportunity where an average person with an above average desire could earn an above average income. So I went to work on myself. Hmm. Um, I'll never forget, I, I came home after my first meeting and you know how we all have a list of excuses? I had that list of excuses of, you know, the, the experience or the age. I was, you know, I was in my early 20s, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, no money, no experience, no background. But I made it up in some other areas, and I decided, look, you can make money or you can make excuses, but you can't make both. Mm. In other words, I tore that list of excuses up, and I said, you know, Jim Rohn's right. For things to change, you've got to change, and for things to get better, you've got to get better. And uh, you can have more in life if you become more in life, and as you grow, your business grows. Mm. You know, this business is almost like a course in personal development disguised as a as a business where you can go out there and, and grow and become more. And, and so I got off to a really fast start. Um, I understood what Zig said, you know, uh, you can have, uh, if you help enough other people get what they want in life, you can have everything you want in life. So uh, I got off to a really quick start, started sharing the product, sharing the opportunity, building a before, team. Before you go any farther, let me, let me just back up for a second because there's, there's so many little gems in there like little nuggets and and anybody who's ever watched any things that i've talked about what do i always have i always said there are three elements that you have to have a burning desire a willingness to work and being coachable guess where i got that hmm. this guy right here i've been repeating it for 20 plus years because it's the absolute truth sure. 